So the other day I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw this guy that I follow post something that said substitute for honey when you're a vegan and I was like and several other people commented and said what's wrong with honey? Of course please make honey. <laughs> So for all you vegans out there or all you want to be vegans or all you aspiring vegans who don't realize it maybe you know but you just didn't realize it like myself here are 10 things you didn't realize are not vegan number one honey bees take nectar from honey which in turn goes into their stomach and then they regurgitate it which means they bring it up put it into the other bee, bring it back out. It's a process. And then they put it into the honeycomb. So after the pH and all that stuff from the bee mixes with the nectar, it becomes honey. So literally, honey cannot be vegan. Number two, some soy-based products. Example, if you live in Jamaica or if you consume Lasco products, you'll see that most of the soy milk, which tastes really good by the way and is very popular, is not really vegan because they have milk derivatives in them. So usually a milk derivative is not necessarily milk itself, but it's like some form of milk, compound from the milk. So let's say the solids or butter is derived from milk. Technically, you just need Need to read the labels when you're buying soy products to see if any milk compounds are listed in the ingredients. Number three, jello, marshmallows, some gummy candies, and glue are all made with gelatin. Gelatin is actually a substance that comes from the skin of animals or the bones or the bone marrow, and then it forms this like sticky gooey thing. That's how you get jello to be like wobbly and sticky, like that consistency. And if you're from the Caribbean, especially Guyana, if you eat like Guyanese pepper pot or if you're from like a country like Jamaica and you eat a lot of cow heel stew or soup and it has that gooiness, that's the gelatin from the animal skin or cartilage that you're eating. This one is funny. Vegetarian cheese and vegan cheese. Not all vegan cheese. <laughs> are vegan. Go to the supermarket and look in the ingredients you'll see milk derivatives in them or some form of milk compound found in mo- actually I've never seen or eaten a vegetarian cheese that is vegan. All of them are not vegan. You can find vegan cheeses though that are genuinely vegan like if you go to Whole Foods. Glycerine or glycerin however you pronounce it actually comes from animal fat or vegetable oil that's why they specify and say Specifically, vegetable glycerine, but generally, glycerin comes from animal fat. Number six, fish oil capsules are most popularly known as cod liver oil capsules. Cod liver oil is actually taken from the liver of codfish. It's definitely not vegan. This video is actually brought to you and sponsored by Purity Omega Vegan 369 Soft Gels. Purity's Omega 369 is a comprehensive plant source blend of omega fatty acids from vegetarian sources including flaxseed, extra virgin olive oil, borage oil, and pomegranate oil to support cardiovascular, brain, skin, and eye health. They're 100% plant-based, non-GMO, which is very important to me, and smell and taste great because of the lemon lock freshness. You can choose between the bottle with 180 soft gels or the bottle with 60 soft gels. Usually when you're eating vegan food or you're totally 100% vegan, people always ask this question. Where do you get your protein from? When people always ask where people who are vegan or practice veganism always get their omega trees or protein from, I always wonder if they ever wonder where humans got their protein and omegas before they actually started eating meat. Purity Vegan Omegas are one of the best selling vegan omegas on Amazon and is Amazon's best choice for vegan omegas on Amazon. I leave a link in the description box down below so you can check them out and purchase. Number seven, silk. Silk is actually made from the cocoons of the silkworm and silkworms use their larvae to form the cocoon. Number eight, beeswax actually comes from the honeycomb. Bees store honey in a honeycomb and then they produce this thicker like substance to seal the honey and prevent it from evaporating in the honeycomb and after the honey is removed from the honeycomb, the honeycomb is actually used to make beeswax. White sugar! I see a lot of major vegans on YouTube using that white sugar and actually the bone char from animals is what causes the white sugar to get white. 
or what causes brown sugar to lose its color eating vegan. And last but not least, number 10. Bears, wines, and apple juice actually get their clearness from isinglass. It's a fish membrane used to clarify the liquid. Okay people, so you don't have to run for cover and ditch everything on the list that I just mentioned. All you have to go for are vegan options, especially when it comes to the wines and the butters and the soy and everything. Just ensure that there is a vegan, totally 100% plant-based version of the product. Just like Purity's Vegan Omegas 369. Because if it ain't 100% plant-based, it ain't vegan. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video and thanks to Purity Vegan Omegas 369 for sponsoring this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!